What's going on everybody? Dar Sizzle and Puddin coming at you from our big boat today. It's been a while since we've been out on the big boat, so it's been nice to be out here, but we literally have been done two back-to-back -back trips, taking you guys along with us for day number two. Today, we're right here in our local waters, right here in beautiful Boynton Beach. Putting out lines, we're gonna do a bit of trolling, and then some bottom fishing. And just crossing my fingers are the best, pretty much. Yeah, we haven't been out here in Boynton in a while, so um, pretty excited. And we're gonna see if there's muttons around. It's time for muttons, it's springtime. Let's keep, let's get it going, Sizzle. Could've been anything. It's tripped. Could've been anything. It's tripped. I get it, but it's a bite. What's a bite? What? What's a bite? No, it's not tripped. What? It's not tripped. All right. It's not tripped right now? No. All right. Wanna reel it up? Oh my God, he's there. Slow down. All right, we got a bite. He's running. Keep it up, keep it up. Let me get this up real fast, not real. You're good. I know. All right, That's, the bite. Here. That's the bite. I don't know what it is. Could be anything. You ready to reel? Yeah, go. It's just taking off. We want to get that long line up next. All right. He's fine, he's way out. How the heck did he come back for that? I don't know, it took a while. Let's see, what, let's see what happens. Good. Literally, he was like falling asleep. <laughs> <laughs> and I heard, we heard the line trip or go off for like just half a second, got up and like immediately just threw the jag down so I could let the line out for about like 20 seconds I did and then locked it back up and then all of a sudden the line started taking off again. Nice run from this fish. Too much of a banana. It's okay right now. All right, so Brian's clearing lines off this side. We're keeping the boat in gear. Always keep it in gear when you're trolling. Keep pressure on that fish, on the lip, and on that hook. Could be anything. Could be a big bonita. I get it, but it feels like a nice fish. All right, just relax. I just feel like there's a lot of weight on this. All right, all right well, get out going. of the other way. What? Back the other way with the wheel. Yeah, Back right, the other well. way with the wheel. He's crossing over. All right, get that one gap out next. You got way to go. No, we're getting closer now. All right. Here comes the planer. Here comes the planer. Oh, really? All right. Yes. Let me back off on the drag just a touch. Big head shake. Big head shake on the surface. Tell me what to do. I'm going a little fast. I, got the, I can get the wheel. All right, the line's going back out. All right, all right, all right. All right, that's good, that's good, that's good. That's good, perfect, perfect, perfect. Fish on the surface. Oh, man. Push. Could be a barracuda. Come on. A little more, a little more. Okay, real. Take your time. Okay. That's good. Get that bonita in. And I ain't faster. We got him playing in on the surface. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Big mouth on this guy. All right. So I picked up the rod just so I have a little bit better control here as he gets close. I can see it's a long fish. Big mouth. Lots of teeth in that mouth. <laughs> I'm just taking my time. He's head shaking. Bring the fish in already. Barracuda. Let's go, get ready. Stop it. Don't think so at all. He really wants to go that way, doesn't he? Yeah, we need to do something. I mean, He's turning more. Bring him in. Handle him. Brian, I'm trying. Let's you got go. you're cutting that line over there. Quick, it's too tight. I can see go the across. plane. I'm gonna get over the planer, Brian. Can the you planer. Is it, He's straightening yeah. out. That's good. That's good. There got there it. Got go. it. There Come here. Go. Come here. Right, That's what right, we right. want. Come here. I am. That's I'm what right we here. want. Get him, Brian. He's off the hook. He's off the hook. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Boom. So Brian is so negative out here. We're not going to do good today. I have no success. Blah, blah, blah. Look at this beautiful fish. It's nice. Hook just came right out. Did it? Yes. Epic. That's why you got to keep pressure on the fish. Woo! On the RJ Boyle hook. Yes, on the RJ Boyle Very hook. Very nice. Very nice. There's my freaking strip I made last night. Yep. Epic. He kind of gaffed it right in the... Yeah, you know, he was kind of skinny, and I didn't want the gaff to go around him, so I just got him in the middle. Yeah, it's okay. No, it's I mean, I don't know right what else by, to do. It's kind of right by the belly. Hopefully that top loin won't be too messed up, but let's check out 
Just lit Dude, up. Yeah, the fish is in the boat. I can't believe you complained about my gaff shot. Look at this little Dude, wahoo. Skinny. Look at this little wahoo. Woo! <laughs> Probably a solid. Oh, he's peeing. Probably a solid 12 pound, 14 pound fish right there. Look at that. Look at nice. that zebra. Nice. That is so epic. Check it's... him out. All lit up. He's starting to die now. But it's a beautiful fish. All right, enough playing with our fish for dinner. Let's see if we can get more in the boat. Anything else I'm happy with. Awesome job, Dar Sizzle. That was so cool. We got the lines back out. We're going on the same track and we just caught that fish. But I, I'm not sure if I got it on the camera, but we got a bite, it tripped the planer, and, and, and it came right off like with just a quick bite. And then Darcy dropped it back really fast, like dropped the drag down. And, and it was like five seconds and like the fish didn't go back on or no fish went back on and so we we're like oh that's over but it literally like 15 seconds later the wahoo like grabbed the leader and it started i mean grabbed the bait and started taking off it that was, was crazy really we cool. actually it felt like we actually were fishing and a plan came together and uh that was really cool i think that's the first fish i've like actually hooked on a drop back yeah it was sick so uh, and uh yeah that here's the bait again it was blue and white uh sea witch we get from Cody at Salty Dogs, and the hook is this new special hook from R.J. Boyle, which uh, he got, which he, which he has, which is great for Wahoo, which he uses on his boat. So that's a setup, and we're down to 40 pound, 100 foot fluorocarbon leader. Southeast Florida is just a lot of pressure, super tough. So here we go. Fish on two, doubled up, doubled up. Okay, okay. Oh, mine's off. Brian. Right here, right here. Leave Triple it. Triple up, tripled up. That boat, baby. We got two fish on. Get, Get tight on that fish. Get tight on that fish. He's going to cut me off on his planer. Shit. Ryan, get over there. Get over where? No, get on your fish. Get on your fish. Get on your fish. Planer's coming up. We just had a triple header. Oh my God. Take your time, you're all right. I just barely got this fish past his boat. He cleared his boat within five foot. <laughs> Incredible. I held the, I, I put my thumb on the spool. I stopped the fish. You got something on, that's not Bonita's. Want me to put this fish down? No. Okay. Wow. There's your fish, silver, silver. Wahoo. Where's the gap? Where's the gap? Where's the gap? Right, right behind me. No, it's not. Ryan, get on that fish. He's getting ahead of the boat. Woo! Get, get on your fish. fish. Get the gap out of him. Get the gap out of him. Don't rip up his meat. Oh my God, guys. Epic Wahoo bite. What the hell? We got fish number three coming in. Ah! I'm so freaking out right now. This is so sick. I want the long line up. All right. I, this I'll rear her up first. That one's fine. Yeah, perfect. Get that one out. He's getting close. All right, guys. So we're still clearing right, lines. Let's go over and get the fish. Still hooked with the third fish. We need to bring this up so we can bring the fish right here. All right, all right, all right. You see my outrigger over here? I can't cross that. All right, all right, all right, all right. That was the most incredible thing I've ever seen out here in fishing of 12 years. Cut off. Cut off, it's okay. Wow, that's what happened. All right, first time a wahoo's cut off, cut us off in a while. But never have I ever seen three lines look smoked like that within 10 seconds. That fish just knocked off that thing right there. What, baby? Knocked off that. All right, saltwater off. Let's try to gap this one a little better. <laughs> uh, let's just get him in the boat. Get him in the boat! Woo! There's number three, stay hooked, baby. This is gonna be a record day. It's gonna be a record. For record us. ever. We've only caught two once for before. Dark offshore. Here we go. And we're taking you guys along for the adventure, following our dreams. How sick is that? Yes. Look at this fish. Oh. Let me oh, get this over here. Oh, oh my God. Go forward a little. Oh my God, I'm Relax. so excited. I know you are. It's very exciting. It is very exciting. Oh my gosh. He's getting that wake hard. Might okay. have to get to that side. You're good. He's gonna come back back. No, he's not. You're in a circle. I'm trying to tell you. Oh, he's coming right back. Be ready, babe. I'm ready. Gotta be there. You went down. Watch out. 
Feisty, feisty. He's mad. Oh my lord. Oh my god. We got him right in the middle. Let's go get more. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. That was incredible, guys. Again, this is the most incredible day of Wahoo fishing we have ever had. There's just a pack of Wahoo about this size, hundreds of them back there. That is so freaking cool. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> what? What? All lines went off. Oh, this is the double hook rig, right? Yeah. He choked that. Hungry fish today. Hungry fish. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> what the hell? What? Studs back to back to back. You can't ask for much more than that. No. Fishing gods are loving on us today. I don't know. I've been doing a lot of good deeds lately. I feel like the fish gods paying us off. What? Double header of who's? So cool. Incredible. I can't believe it. Incredible. Boy, and once again, slays. Inshore, offshore. 2023 is an incredible year fishing down here in Boynton. Wow. Wow. This is so cool. Holy sh I literally can't believe it. Again, Guys, we've never we talk. This has never happened. We've caught two before like a million years ago. The Wahoo bite has been has been excellent like the last many months. We have oh my freaking goodness. We've caught three. It's so crazy. Out of Kesley Wahoo in like southeast, southeast Florida is like very, very rare. Oh my gosh. Especially for recreational, which we essentially are. Dude, so incredible. So, I, can't, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. It's just mind blowing. All right, guys, we just got pictures with our beautiful Wahoo. We did circle back around, didn't get any more bites, but honestly, the conditions started changing quite quickly and some weed blew in and it was just getting tough to even troll in those conditions. So again, we are blessed to have these fish on board. It's just truly incredible. Um, just goes to show you that you put your time in out here on the ocean. It makes, you know, dream work makes the dream, teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> I'm still so excited. I can't even talk. I'm totally covered in Wahoo everywhere and I couldn't be a happier girl about this. So <laughs> epic day, guys. We're going to get him back in the fish kill box, fish kill bag after uh, taking a bunch of pictures because again, record day and by the way i don't think amy is gonna see this but brian's sister's 50th birthday is today so uh she brought us luck in my opinion happy birthday amy <laughs> nice all right let's get those cleaned up to our sizzle and we'll make some delicious dinner oh my stay gosh. tuned oh my gosh <laughs> now we're feeding everybody Back at the house. Do this. Best day of fishing ever. <laughs> Wahoo fishing ever, for sure. This is a day that we're all, I'm always going to remember. Yes, because Brian thinks it's never going to happen again. I didn't so think. So negative. The, the, the thing, everything was just not in our favor. I mean, I just didn't think it was going to happen. But it was kind of in our favor now that you think about it, because there's a front coming. We had a little bit of uh, like a like calm water. We always catch Wahoo when it's calm. Let's keep going to go out when it's calm. It was a west wind. We put in a lot of time and a lot moon. of trips that you guys have yes, never seen. Yes, we deserved it. Where we caught zero fish. Yes. So we really just deserved that. I mean, we put in so much time. I can't even tell you how many hours we put in trolling out there. I mean, many trips this year with no fish. No, totally true. Check this out. There's a parasite living right here, just under his peck fin. You see that, guys? It was pretty gross. So it just goes to show you that every fish has parasites. Ew. Ew, it's so attached. Look at that thing. Yeah. Wild. Ugh. Oh, wrong way. Luckily, we're not eating that. Let's get that out of here. Weird looking parasite. Okay, now let's dive right into this. We're using my Darcizzle knives today. I'm gonna be going with the eight inch, the larger knife, just so I can make um, longer strokes with the knife. That's what she said. <laughs> You're getting terrible. I sound exactly like Brian, don't I? I hang You're out hanging out with me too much. Too much with Brian. 
because he's a five-year-old. All right, oh my so God. we're gonna cut right down <laughs> and then up into the head as much as we can. And yes, don't worry, we're gonna be feeding all of our neighbors. And I am going to be freezing fish as well for like my family, uh, some ants and like my cousin Don up in Georgia. Uh, he'll appreciate this fish. So we're going to go all the way down the back. I just made these knives extra, extra sharp. Too sharp, it looks. Well, I'm cutting a little too close to that <laughs> dorsal fin, but I just want to make a really clean stroke and take care of this fish here. Because again, we never get to catch this many wahoos. And this is a nice size fish for around here. Um, I wouldn't consider this a wee-hoo. Some people might, whatever. A Haters wahoo might. is a wahoo, yes. And like our last fish we caught was a 30 pounder, like almost two months ago. And that's a nice fish for around here. Now again, this is the fish that's been around lately. So this is what everybody's been catching. But again, the size. you cannot, yes, the size of this fish has been around, but you cannot complain about that. So I just literally cut through the other side of this fish because the knife is so sharp. I knew it. That's what I said. I literally just cut through. Their bones are like extra thin and it's easier to cut through a fish like this because they don't have like wild scales or really tough bones because they live in the upper water columns of the ocean. So they kind of don't ever interact with structure or bottom stuff like rocks and ledges and reefs and all that stuff. All right, wait till you guys see this meat. Oh, looks amazing already. All right, and now I'm just angling that knife. My eight inch star sizzle knife really has a flex to it. So I'm just bending it right on those bones. Look how much I'm bending it just to get it up on those bones. And I'm gonna have the link down below if you guys are interested in these knives. There's also a promo code down below where you can save and get free shipping. So if you wanna support me, check that out. Oh, also forgot to mention, I was wearing my Wahoo pendant on the boat too. Beautiful, gorgeous, solid sterling silver 3D Wahoo pendant. And that is available <laughs> on the website. I have all different kinds of nautical pendants with all different types of saltwater and freshwater species. Yeah, she has bass and tarpon and snook and everything. Mahi and fish hooks, sea turtles. anchors, whatever you need, I've got it. And they're all unisex, guys. Yes, and we learned last time that means both sexes. Correct, <laughs> both sexes. Okay, so taking my time here. Oops. There we go. Oh, look at that. Nice. Amazing. This is going to be so good. Look at that Wahoo meat. Oh. I guess we got to have a sliver because I did leave a little bit right there when I messed up and I cut through the yeah, other side. Yeah, you messed up. You stink. I mean, it's not terrible. No, it's not terrible. Oh. All right, we have to do the ritual. We have to do it with every fish. So cold? Yeah. All right, get to cleaning the fish. Yummy. <laughs> All right. Okay, Cheating. that is so good. Yeah. Ah, so spoiled down here in South Florida. Okay. All right, so normally I would go all the way down on this fish, but because he's longer and thinner and it's just a tougher to work with a thin, with fish with a thin skin, I just cut off that section right there so I don't really mess it up, but look at that absolutely gorgeous there is a bloodline there and all we're going to do which i'm going to do with the rest of the filet as well is just go down knock that out and we did bleed them but once again there's always going to be a little bit of blood oh, look at those loins nice so pretty all right so we got two loins almost about the equal size there and i'm just going to go ahead and probably cut it one more time slab it and then finish off but you guys get the gist of it so I'm gonna finish up this gorgeous fish and the rest of the wahoo we got, and then we'll meet you in the kitchen for the cooking and pudding portion of this video. All right, guys, welcome back to your favorite part of the show, cooking with pudding. Let's get right to it. I'm doing seared wahoo today. We love to eat wahoo raw. We don't like to even cook it ever, okay? Uh, first day, nice sushi or sashimi. Second day, you can sear it. We're gonna sear it right off the bat here. And uh, I like to keep it nice and simple. Get in a little closer so they can see. So I got a nice piece of Wahoo right here. Make it nice and dry. Okay, you don't need any coating. All right? Make up your own coating. I've, I've been experimenting and you really make it whatever you want. I've mixed up pepper, um, sesame seeds, Montreal steak seasoning. Shook it up real good. Up. Oh. Smoking. 
I've explosively smoking. I preheated my pan on a medium to high heat. We're gonna get this going or well, my pan's gonna catch on fire. Put it in a nice plate, spread it out. All right. Now, it's gonna press it in. Again, you don't need to batter this like you would a chicken cutlet. Just gonna press it on there. This is gonna make, I've tried different methods, different coatings, they don't work. This is how you do it. And again, experiment with this coating. It really makes a difference. All right, so there we go. Now we're gonna use olive oil. Dust so sizzle's getting the nice shots. A little bit of olive oil in here. Again, you gotta make sure that pan is heated up. Searing is all about having a nice heated pan, preheated. You can see it heating up good, maybe too hot. All right, and you can cook this as much or as little as you want. You like it pretty raw, so we're probably gonna do like 30 seconds on each side. And Timer, right? Nah, we're just gonna watch it because you can you can see on here on this end how much it's cooking. And I didn't use a I made a piece that's gonna stay in the middle. I didn't get a real long piece because it would just not cook correctly on the ends. Alright, you can see that white down there? It's gonna roll it onto its side, depending on the shape of your fish. Last side. All right, that's it. That was only about a minute or 30 seconds on each side. Here we go. All right, Darcy, the expert, of course, is going to cut it. Yes, yeah, so I will cut it. <laughs> I'm going to try to cut it. Um, I think you can let it sit a little longer, but it is a little on the hot side. And I've got my little trick today, saran wrap or plastic wrap. It's awesome when you're cutting fish because you're going to make thinner cuts but you're not gonna like take off all your seeds and all your coating as easily with the saran wrap. Oh, look at that, whoop. So basically you just put it over the top, just like so, and you see me making my cuts. Beautiful. There you go. I'm convinced, let's eat our sizzle. <laughs> so we got a great meal, we got beers. I'm using my fingers, don't She's care. gonna use her fingers. Don't care. We got some crab claws. Fresh crab claws, what? Incredible. Wahoo and stone crab, that's like definitely, that has to be like the top three combo right there. Living the dream. You did a great job cutting this, I gotta say. It's not the easiest thing in the world. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm hmm. Slightly salty, but that's okay. I gotta say, it makes a big difference, the coating you put on it. Sometimes you just put sesame seeds, doesn't cut it. You gotta add some more spices. You know, whatever, mm. you know, whatever you guys think, but mm. am I right? Mm-hmm. This is so good. Oh my goodness. I mean, literally like this crab's claws and the fish were swimming like hours ago. <laughs> it's the coating, the coating. Really made a difference. All right. So good. I'm gonna keep devouring my face and using my fingers here. You guys don't wanna see that. But thanks for joining us on today's awesome adventure out there living our dream. Thanks for coming along for the ride. And until our next one, follow your dream and keep, and keep on, on catching. catching. Holding this beer all weird.